What's up guys? Just wanted to do a quick um, reaction video to my first impressions on playing through God of War for the PS4. I've been playing it for a couple days now. Um, definitely have not gotten you know, toward the end of the game at all. Um, still playing through the story. And so far I'm really, really enjoying the game. I know that lots of people have talked about the game. That was actually what got me going. You know, I was just hearing the reviews and hearing like how much people were just absolutely going nuts over the game. So I picked it up um, and have been playing it quite a bit for about two days now and I'm definitely hooked. Um, it actually jumped to the top of my playlist. I have quite a few games on my backlog at any given time. I like to keep games on my backlog so I'm never without things to play and honestly if somebody doesn't have things to play <laughs> right now in this uh, day of gaming especially when you throw retro games in the mix then you're doing it wrong I don't know I don't understand that but um yeah God of War really really um surprising to me I wasn't like looking forward to the game before it was released it was all the talk right at release that people were just absolutely like gawking over it and giving it such high acclaim that I was like, okay, this is something that I absolutely have to take notice of. And I think it's really smart for gamers to do that. You know, like, you gotta pay attention to the people who are out there playing games. Like, if you're having a hard time finding something to play, you know, like, um, look for people that you have agreed with their opinions in the past and um, see what they're enjoying at the time if you're having a hard time finding something. Um, I'm really glad that I started playing it now. It's a lot more fun to play a game when it's relevant. A lot of the times I end up playing games, you know, like down the line. Um, even if I pick it up on day one, often I don't play it right away. I currently have Nier Automata, Horizon Zero Dawn, and Yakuza Kiwami sitting on my shelf over there. And so this game actually, from all the critical acclaim, got jumped up ahead of that. And I'm really, really glad that I've been playing it. It's just been such a really fun thing. When I first started out, I really was not sure if it was going to be the game for me. Um, the combat right off the bat seemed a little bit like simplistic. Um, you're doing a lot of the same moves over and over. Um, but that's quickly remedied. Um, Kratos starts to gain a whole lot of new abilities, which makes the game really interesting and really fun. And there's a lot of variables with um, different enemies. So it does stay interesting. Um, Story-wise, I'm really liking seeing you know, Kratos as a character. Um, I never played the other God of War games, so I didn't really have a framework for him. But I really like seeing the relationship develop between him and his son, who are basically complete strangers at the beginning of the game. Um, it seems like Atreus, the son, has spent a lot of time with his mom and doesn't really know his dad that much. And it's really cool how um, Atreus I really like as a character. I kind of feel bad a little bit that he's just like, <laughs> I don't know, Kratos doesn't give him much credit. Um, he's really tough on him. You know, you can have varied opinions about that, but um, with somebody who's so ready to please and everything, I think that it would be nice for Kratos to be a little bit nicer to him. My guess would be that that's probably going to be some of Kratos' uh, character development that we're going to see later on in the story. Um, so that's cool. It's still really, really fun just watching this god of a character, um, you know, have to do something that he's obviously uncomfortable with, which is taking someone along with him. You can tell that Kratos has done a lot of things alone, and that's his modus operandi. Um, that's what he likes to do, and this is very uncomfortable for him to be worrying about someone else and trying to teach someone something else. You know, he, he knows a lot, but it's hard for him to pass it on in a way that's not just kind of being a dick. But, um, I'm loving the environments. Um, it's really fun. I'm taking every opportunity I can to explore as much as possible. Um, the game really gives you the option to be ushered along and just follow the story if that's what you want to do. And you can skip all the extra content or you can spend a lot of time in the setting finding a lot of things. And I'm really, really loving it. I The game is beautiful. Like, oh my gosh, the graphics are really next level stuff. I mean, I've played a lot of PS4 games, and this one is incredible. And, um, you know, I'm playing it on my PS4 Pro, but I do have a 1080p television still. Um, I opted for the performance 
enhancement, which is also awesome. Like how nice is that, that they give you that option and really the developers went the extra length to give you, do you care more about resolution or do you care about performance? And I'm so thankful that they did that. It's very nice to have a strong, solid frame rate for this beautiful, beautiful game. So um, just thought I'd give my first impressions. I know a lot of you guys out there have been playing it. Um, shout out to Barry, Bob for <laughs> messaging me and telling me like point blank like not even just on a post he was like dude you have to play this game and I was like all right man got it <laughs> I'm doing it so really glad to pick that up really glad to be playing it um, I'd like to hear what other people are thinking again like I have to avoid spo spoilers at this point because I haven't gotten all the way through one thing that is a little bit tough for me so far and I'm not sure if this will change as it goes but their main motivation of wanting to take the mother's ashes to this mountain I kind of wish that there was a little bit more of a drive there like we don't know the mother um, they do flesh her out somewhat you know as the game goes on and the fact that Kratos himself let alone the son of Atreus have such this um, you know desire to fulfill their you know mother and mom and wife's last wish you know obviously she was pretty awesome and then as you're going through the game I've already bumped into characters who have known about her like the dwarf um, uh, who creates a lot of your armor and stuff um, talks about her with great you know love and admiration so she must have been a pretty awesome person I wish that we could see that more and I would like to see that a little bit more down the line in the game but I'm not sure if we're gonna get that or not anyways guys just wanted to give my first impressions of playing God of War I'm really enjoying it so far this is very much a game like the gameplay focus is very heavy um, they do a really good job of not giving too much story to take you out of it being a really good video game but also um, still having the story there and having the development and your uh, motivations real clear. So I'm really, really enjoying it so far. A game I probably would not have picked up on my own had it not been for it getting so much acclaim and for so many people telling me that I absolutely need to play it. So, yep, pretty awesome. Another amazing thing, can we just point out the fact that like this game is the fastest selling PS4 game now and it's a story driven um, more linear experience like how amazing is that like developers take notice this is what gamers want like even if there are some gamers who don't want this there is a market for this keep making these kind of games because we love it you know it really reminds me a lot of the last of us um, it's definitely not up to that level for me yet um, a lot of people that I really respect say that this has become one of their favorite games um, so maybe that'll change I'm not exactly sure but just wanted to let you guys know what I'm thinking about playing God of War. Have a good one.